my name is Marae Linders, I'm head teacher at Brentford School for Girls. This is a fantastic project. Um, our students have been really very, very engaged from the beginning. And I think the reason for this is that the project really does meet um, and reinforce our own school ethos. Um, our own school ethos is really about developing this vision of the Brentford woman uh, the Brentford girl who is globally aware um, and underpinning that vision is a real sense of citizenship um, and caring for others um, within our world. Our school is an incredibly multicultural and diverse community. Um, many, many of our students um, are from all across the world and this is really an opportunity, this project, to celebrate all of that difference and that diversity which exists within our own school. Well, one of our values is about building, building confidence um, in our young women and I think the project has really allowed our girls to develop real confidence. Um, a number of the students, because it's a student-led project, um, have really led the project from kind of the beginning all the way through. Um, from telling their own personal stories um, and from lis for listening to the stories of others and using those to build on the work on refugees. Um, so the building of confidence has been fantastic and we've had students present in assemblies, we've had students present to the staff, um, they've been involved in video footage and in working with other schools. So there have been huge opportunities for developing that confidence, which is really important within our school vision. I think the project supports both non-academic and academic children. Um, in terms of non-academic, there are different ways that the students can access the course, um, even if it's just writing a postcard to their local MP um, or doing a piece of artwork. Um, for our most able students, many, many of those have been involved in the project. Um, there are ways that they can access um, the project as well. Um, an example of this would be a student we have in the sixth form, a um, very bright girl who is actually doing her EPQ project um, uh, based around this project and refugeeism. Um, we have a real strong arts basis to our school um, currently. Um, I think things like the exhibition, um, really added to our kind of arts dimension that we have in school. Um, the work with the other schools allowed our students to work collaboratively, which again is really important for us in school. Um, you know, collaborative working with others is a critical part of that project. Um, the project also allowed us to work quite directly with Twitter and Oxfam, um, and it really allowed us to have a voice through the Oxfam Twitter page, um, which I felt was quite innovative. Um, and many of our young people use Twitter quite regularly um, and certainly gave an opportunity um, for a young voice to be heard, but also for many, many other younger people to access um, you know, Oxfam Twitter as well. I think the forum is pretty critical in terms of its kind of overall aims to and, and objectives to meet that kind of inclusion, um, social inclusion and, and diversity purpose. Um, it's a really, really important project in ensuring that young people understand what's happening in the world um, and that they don't switch off the telly when they see um, a group of people coming across on a boat from Syria, but they really, really do listen to the key issues that are raised um, around the big political um, social issues of our day um, and the project allows young people to be aware of these um, these issues but also to do something actively about them um, and so often young people can be portrayed in an incredibly negative way they're not interested in the news they're not interested in social issues and that's completely wrong they are very interested um, but it's actually what what we can do about these things and what they can do about these things and I think that frequently we think that maybe they're not as proactive as maybe we, we were and we'd like them to be. But I think opportunities like Twitter and social media really do give young people a voice um, for raising their concerns um, as well as uh, build an understanding.
young people about the issues that affect us 